Hi, and welcome to Vicky's Precious Petals. So today, hopefully, I am going to try and make a vase. Um, it could turn into a bowl. Trust me. So I've got colours already mixed up here. Let me little jars go. Alright, so I've used um, just metallic type powders. And so this one is gold. Sorry, can't read Chinese. Can't see where I got it from. Um, I've got a light grey. Um, I've got the white mica powder from Let's Resin. I have got one small cup from Harry and Wilma. Um, this is their um, interference powder and it's lavender. Lilac, I think it is, yep. And somewhere hiding on here, I've made one little bottle of one little cup of black. Okay, this is just a an ink. Um, it's not an alcohol ink. Okay, so I need to move all of these things out of the road. And hopefully I don't tip them over. And get them over here. Oh, and I've got a bit of clear left for the centre. I'm just doing a bit of shuffling. Shuffle, shuffle. Right. So the mould I'm going to be using is this one. Um, now it actually holds 800 mils, but I'm only going to pour 500 mils because I don't want this too thick. I want to be able to manipulate it if possible. So I'm just going to start. I'm just going to stand up so I get the centre um, with some gold. And just a drop of black. So the black that I've mixed up is pretty transparent. Some silver. Or white grey as it says on the bottle. I am continually stirring these as I'm going. Sometimes it settles a little bit. It's the white. And a dash of the lilac. Alrighty. Next round. Gold. Gold has a bad habit of taking over as well. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't do it this time. A bit more black. Silver. Now I had to um, split these cups fairly quickly because this is um, a cast resin and it's two to one and I didn't want so I mixed up 500 mils Get rid of that one. so 500 mils is up here now, if I had left that in the cup like that, it would have just flash cured on me. So I had to split. I didn't have time to, you know, muck around. Now I've sidetracked myself. <laughs> okay, bit of lilac. Or was it white next? I think it was white. Give yeah, me white's go. Yep. There it is sitting over there. Couldn't see it for looking at it. Oh. 
anybody want a backache? I'm giving one away, it's free. I think I've gone out of order, but you get that. I should have written it down. You can all sing. <laughs> I don't think you want to hear me sing. I should have had some music playing in the background. And there. Oh, poor old back. I did check, I desperately need a new desk, new workbench. The top's bowed a little bit from all the heavy weight that goes on it. So I've got the magical um, pop sticks under it. Loss of the black. Now because this is two two to one resin, this is gonna take quite some time um, for it to get to the stage where I can pull it out of the mould. I do have a heat mat sitting under it. I'm hoping I'll be able to see you later this afternoon and not may have to sit up till someone will be out of the Now, in theory, this clear should push the colours out, but they should come back in and close. <laughs> we'll see. Because I've used all of these different sorts of powders and you know, bits and pieces, because I wanted something a bit special, I don't know. And I'm not sure how much clear that I should put in there, but I'm guessing that looks like enough. Uh, I've got a bit left. Should I or shouldn't I? Um. We'll see what happens.
Okay. I'll get these sticky gloves off. I'm just seeing a few bubbles come up. And I'm going to write down the time. I did one of these yesterday. And some of it's a bit naughty. 11.50 a.m. here. So, so far, it uh, is looking all right. I think my nozzle's a bit... getting a bit low too. Spraying out really big drops. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to make cells now instead. If I wanted to make cells, it wouldn't work. Okay, go back over there. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Rightio, thumbs up. I'll be back in, I don't know, four hours or so. Look how much the colours have moved. I'm really liking this. It's still not ready to take out of the mould. Um, looks really good. I did put my tacky finger over there. Uh, should have stayed out of it. I'll leave it for a bit longer and I'll be back. Okay, it's nearly cooked, just not quite there. So I can pull this away. But just needs probably, I don't know, I'll come back in in 15 minutes, half hour, and see. I just don't want to wreck this, put fingerprints all over it, and it all turn it. <coughs> to, uh, you know what happens. <laughs> I'll be back. Right here, I'm super hoping that this all comes out of the mould. And I haven't got any, like, soft, tacky bits. Taking a bit of an effort to try and get it out. Please, no sticky bits. Yay! We're out. We haven't made a vase yet. Let's see. So this side is really beautiful. I really like that. Um, and this side is quite nice as well. I think I'm going to go with this side. So I have a vase here. I need to stand up. I'm hoping I'm in screen. Oh, please tell me you're not too thick. Don't split on me. Right. Bit more thing wrap. That vase that I've putting this over, I'd wrapped in cling wrap because you can just have a sticky spot that you don't even know is there and then it all sticks, oh my god talk about making a mess with the cling wrap come on, play the game move the camera a little bit just so you can see what I'm doing just 
Like that. I'm just going to get a bit more cling wrap. Oh, come on. Go. Okay, the cling wrap and I are not seeing eye to eye, so we're going to a bowl. So this is covered with cling wrap in underneath. This is a stainless steel bowl, and I've made bowls with before. And I'm a little bit high on one side. No. I'm doing my best to get it down. I had to pull a cling wrap out of the box. So the lady that's ordered the bowl, I am going to have to go to a free form bowl, like a drip bowl, or something like that. I haven't done one of those in a very long time. So... I pulled this out of the mould at 7.15 and I started at 11.50am this morning when I poured. So at 7, say 7.5 hours, roughly. And this is a uh, 2 to 1 resin. What have I done there? Don't split on me. Okay, I think the battle's over. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I hope that hasn't split there. I've got an extra fold that I don't really want. Okay. A fair bit of weight in this. It's too curlos. Okay. I now have a bowl. I was thinking that this morning. So I'm going to have to do a free form bowl. But we'll come back to this tomorrow morning. I'm hoping this hasn't split just here. I can't tell now. I'm not going to pull it back out. Okay, come back here.
come back to you tomorrow. Bye for now. Okay, about 9.30 last night, I come in and I pulled it out of the bowl because I was really worried it was going to crack. So, just here, there's a tiny mark. And I thought that's where it's going to crack and I'm pleased I did pull it out because I think that's what would have happened. So, I now have a really pretty fruit bowl. Not quite what I was after, but... And I'm really loving the colours on the back. They're just gorgeous. Um, but it was meant to be a vase that way. <laughs> anyway, you get that on these big jobs. Um, but I am going to go back and do a freeform vase. Just not today, because I'm a bit vased out. I do have some other projects on the go. So, thumbs up if you like this, and please subscribe. Talk to you guys all later. Thank you for watching.